In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a uh, kind of a look at how to create a video that with these text or chat animations that is the most like the sort of thing you'd see on a commercial on your television set or YouTube or whatever. Uh, now this approach basically allow, is done by finding a series of photos or videos around a single subject. And so you see here that I've got this same uh, pretty brunette young lady and she's in different positions on her couch and so forth as she's texting like you would in real life. And so what, what I've done in this, and this is going to lag a little bit because I'm recording and I have a bunch of other things open right now. But you'll see that I'm doing a, a simple Ken Burns style effect animations. Now the key to this is that you want to not only do that, but you want to mix it up. So as you see, as I go from one to the other, um, that one was kind of zooming out. I want to zoom in this time. I want to just mix it up. Sometimes I'm going to do a zoom in and a zoom in, but I, over the different ones, I want it to come across just differently. We're coming a little bit more organically. I don't want to do the same exact same thing every single time. And so that's just the, kind of the standard technique that's used in uh, professional videos where it just kind of, the, it feels organic. You're really not you know, seeing a, a formula. And so you just, you know, again, just want to mix it up. Now in this one, actually what I, sh what I really think I should have done, is you notice that she's nice and centered right here. Uh, probably the smarter thing to do is to start with that. I mean, to end with that. So I can have her like this um, centered and so what I want to do is add in, here's how I'm going to, uh, we create these kinds of animations inside of ScreenFlow. And I'm going to end with her like that. So I want to begin with her uh, doing that. And, and that's just really about framing. It's about, so what I'm going to end in, on is her nice and centered in here. And that just has a better resolve. And so you want to do things like that whenever you can. I'm going to also just kind of point some positioning things out. Like I positioned... Um, this here and you know it, there was basically some space here at the end where we zoom in and uh, right there where I land and I want about the equal distance between those two spots so you want to pay attention to even those kinds of details your you know and also if you notice what I've done is I've mixed up the positioning of the chat from over here to over here and I different sizes I don't want you to kind of even think that they're gonna show up in the same spot and this basically kind of causes you to reorient a little bit and uh, adjust, you know, you're still following the flow of the conversation, but it's keeping things interesting and you're not, it's, you know, not seeing this kind of redundant uh, positioning and stuff like that. Again, it's much more organic. And again, you just want to pay attention to stuff like that. I'll land here and show you too. Um, what I was trying to do is make sure you could see a little bit of her coffee cup and stuff like that and um, the, you'll notice that the positioning of this is sort of along the top of her head and we call that available lines you just want to kind of make it feel like it sort of fits you know for some reason they don't even know why subconsciously it fits okay so all of those techniques uh, allow for you to get that nice organic professional commercial quality feel to a video like this. Now, I want to land on uh, basically showing you how you can find a series of photos like that. So I'm on Pixabay and other sites like this tend to do this as well, but let's just go ahead and select this image right here. And I, I, I'm not really gonna, gonna be particular about what I'm doing. I'm just showing you how you can find a series of image images by the same uh, photographer. And so what you do is you go up to uh, the actual photographer there and you look at their images and you'll tend to see that they do they have a series of shots they tend to want not want to not to do just one thing uh, so they'll take several shots and everything and they'll tend to have the, the ability for you to kind of do that where you have a, you can create a story out of four or five shots and so whenever you find something that kind of looks like it fits you want to go up to that uh, creator and see if they've created more of that and, and it's very common for them to take uh, shots of the same basic idea from a few different angles allowing you to do what I just showed you so uh, you should be able to get a lot out of this technique this is probably one of the more professional things and it's fast and easy uh, and really can get you know, basically get you to really come off as being very very professional and uh, the sort of thing that clients like to pay a lot of money for